QuickBooks How to Mark Invoice as Paid. Hey everyone, this is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University and we are in QuickBooks Desktop and I am going to show you how to mark an invoice as paid. Now, that's a lot simpler than it sounds. You cannot just go into QuickBooks. Let's go to, let's just go to the customer center. Let me show you here. So if we go to a customer, we say uh, this Heather Campbell owes $13,900. Let me go to a quick report and pull up this invoice. I can't or you cannot just go in here and mark it as paid. Now, the reason you can't do that is because, you know, for basic accounting, you have to have some form of payment for that. So whether it's cash, check, credit card, you know, whatever the case may be, uh, it's you, you have to specify how it was paid. So you can't just go in, unfortunately, and just say, hey, this was already paid. So when this situation comes up, there's generally going to be, uh, there's really going to be one situation when an invoice has already been paid, but it's still showing as outstanding in QuickBooks. So I'm going to show you how to mark it as paid and then give you another option as well, depending on your situation. Okay, so let's take this first. Uh, let's go back to this customer uh, center over here. And we're going to look at Babcock's Music Shop Remodel. Right now, they owe $225. So the typical scenario when this comes up, you have, let's say you pull up your account receivable aging, you have an invoice out there to Babcock's Music for $225. And you're like, you know, I know they paid this already. So why is it still showing as an outstanding receivable? Why, do they, why does it show that they still owe us this money? The most likely reason is that somebody, whether it was you or someone else in QuickBooks, got the check or got the payment and went straight to the check register and made a deposit for $225, all right? So we see these two invoices outstanding, 175 and 50, total of $225. All right, so let's go to our check register. And what we're doing here is you want to look for a deposit for $225. All right, so we have a couple of them up here. One from undeposited funds, and then a couple that say design income and materials income. So your first item that you have to figure out is which deposit is associated with that invoice. It's probably going to take some digging, but see, when you record it in the check register and you still show it as account receivable, you're essentially double counting the 225 as income. And you don't want to do that because obviously you don't want it to make it look like you're doing better than you are on your financial statements. So let's say that you have done some digging and you have determined that this is the deposit here. All right, so we're going to double click this deposit and you're going to see, OK, well, it already says Babcock's Music Shop remodel and it says construction design income. So, so somebody did put in that it was for Babcock's Music Shop and it was a check and it was two hundred and twenty five dollars. Now, the issue comes in when it's recorded to design income in this account. So what what you want to do is you want to take this account out of here and instead type in accounts receivable. So let me go up to accounts receivable right here. So now we have Babcock's Music Shop remodel, accounts receivable, $225. So I'm going to save and close this. And then what we're going to do is go to customers, receive payments, and let's choose Babcock's Music Shop, Remodel. You're gonna see there's two invoices here, $225. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check both of these off, but you'll see here by putting that account to accounts receivable, we have created a credit for this customer. So we wanna apply these credits. So let me bring this box over here. All right, available credits, we check that off and we say done so it applied it to the first one now we want to apply the credit to the next one we pull this screen over here and you'll see we have a remaining credit of 50 
I'm going to say done, and now we have applied credits against the amount due. So effectively, what you've done in the you know the first scenario by putting it to design income in the check register, it duplicates your revenue. So what you want to do is change that entry to be to accounts receivable instead, which creates a credit for the customer and the job so that you can go back and apply the credit to the account. Now, when we save and close, it is going to clear that account receivable out of the system. So it no longer shows that Babcock owes you money and it still stays in the checking account register. OK, so now you have gotten your books correct. That is how to mark an invoice as paid when the payment has already been recorded somewhere in QuickBooks as a deposit. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.